Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I want to start off by thanking all the new subscribers and the feedback from the latest videos about Plotly. If you signed up for my upcoming Plotly and Dash course, the wait is almost over. You're gonna hear from me soon. To celebrate, so to speak, I decided to tease you all with a crash course just about Plotly. So all the videos here will be part of the full course, but they cover just the fundamentals on creating and customizing your charts and how you can actually use the Plotly documentation because it can be tricky at first, but there's nothing to worry about. Essentially, I'll give you the tools you need to upgrade from uh, your boring Excel charts. Um, maybe impress your colleagues at work. All you need to follow along is an instance where you can run Jupyter Notebooks. Um, if you're new to Python, simply look for Anaconda. Their individual edition is more than enough. It comes pre-installed with, um, I mean, Python comes pre-installed. It's very easy to set up and you'll be running Jupyter Notebooks in no time. The link for the notebook that we are going to use in the crash course is available in the description. As always, if you have any questions about the code in the videos, make sure you leave a comment. I do my best to answer all the comments I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's important as well. Without any more delays, let's talk about Plotly. Plotly is really an amazing tool to create any charts and graphs. Their website is full of documentation and you can use Plotly with these different languages. We're going to use Python but they have really good documentation on their website and you can build any chart just based off their code there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you go to Plotly's website and we're in the Python section, you have these different figures, uh, images, different charts, a lot of different stuff that you can pick from and you can easily see how to build one of these. And some charts are very nice with just one line of code. So if we go to the bar charts here and you have some examples, uh, look at this, just very simple. You have the data, X, Y, and you have a chart that's kind of cool and interactive. And the best part is that you can use Dash to put your charts in a, in a website, so to speak. So the plan is really simple. I'm going to code all the examples. I'm going to give you a lot of different ways you can customize your charts. Uh, I might skip some, some parts forward to prevent boring you to death as I type, but you should be able to pause and just code along while you explore what we're doing. That's really important. You want to, I, want to, I want you to make sure that you explore the data frames that we're looking at and the different ways that you can um, organize your data to, to create your charts. And by the end of the notebook, you're going to have a large variety of charts and customization uh, tricks that you can keep as a cheat sheet. We're going to start with Plotly Express because that's your, that's going to be your entry um, for Plotly. It's the easiest to, to set up. And then we're going to move to Plotly Graph Objects once we need to customize our chart a bit further. To start things off, we're going to need to import our data and we're going to be using the same data set for the whole notebook because I think it's easier to just focus on the chart. And we're going to need to import Plotly Express as BX. That's the usual alias. And we're going to use Plotly's data packages because it's just easier to follow along. And they have a page, this one, where they show you what kind of data sets you can easily access. And we're going to be using Gapminer. It's a very famous data set, um, country information. And in order to get that, we're going to need to, let's set up a variable that we can reuse. And it's very easy. We're going to hit that. Let's see what we have here. So very basic information, but this will help us create a lot of different visualizations. 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. I'll see you in the next video.